Swing the clap. Come on now. Come on now. Hey, so you got clap. So you got clap. Come on now. Say, come on now. Hey, got to celebrate life. And that's alright. So hard, they supporting the couples out of these moves. Let me hit schools, time for me to get up, get bust. I ain't got time to be stuck. You've been escaping the buddies, so many tickets up. It's been an honor, the blessing, I don't believe in luck. Been in the game six, seven years, not 12 years. Sorry, 12 not, years. that's disrespect. Thank you, thank my guest host. I apologize. Yeah, and I earned all mine for the slip of the tongue. Yeah, um, trying to get my doctor. I feel that. Yeah. That's real. Oh, um, being in the game twelve years. Um, what? How many tours you been on? Tours. I mean, I've done tours like with randoms. I've been on a tour. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been okay. on a tour. Okay. I think that would be dope to do a tour, but I ain't never did a tour. I kind of like. I kind of hustled it backwards. I don't know. Okay. I just stay in Atlanta. Okay. I don't really go. I stay in my areas. I kind of like operate on my own solo terms. I've done stuff with like Rewind, you know what I'm saying? Boss and shit like that. But I kind of like, I ain't really ever been attached to anybody, which is a good or a bad thing because you have to hustle and art yourself. Mm. But also, I ain't really never, I kind of get to do what I want to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't got nobody like, we here or depending on another nigga to go and book a tour or anything like that. So I don't know. I'd rather. Ain't nobody ever asked me shit. <laughs> Straight so, up. So, hey, I'm available if anybody, you know what I'm saying, wants somebody open. I'm not like one of the type of niggas that's not available. Yeah. But the real thing is, ain't nobody ever asked me. And I'm not the type of nigga that would ask. So, so. Not, <laughs> I feel that. So, not to, not, not like. My goal know. is to be a headliner. I don't, that's why I'm worried yeah. about that. Yeah. I feel, and put on your own shit. That's what's up. Okay. So, I worry about, I focus on doing Watch that. this when you headline. Oh, shit. I'm gonna watch it tonight. Try to stand this shit. <laughs> you right so there, Jordan? Not, not too much travel? Not too much. I mean, I stay in I've been to Chicago. I've been to New York, do comedy. I've been to. I've been to all the places. I've been to Memphis. I did Memphis okay. Comedy Festival. I do comedy festivals and stuff like that. Okay. I follow that white side heavy. You know what I mean? Well, what well, well, I say? I say white side. I say, I'm, funny. I'm still saying white side. They call it mainstream, whatever they call it. You yeah. just say they call it urban or black, or I call it mainstream, mainstream. and white. When yeah, you cross so, over. Yeah. When you cross over. I just kind of, I don't know, I kind of stay, I stay over there, so I kind of put my focus, because I always said I want to be on Comedy Central, that's the kind of shit I want to be on, and I just looked at the scene when I was first in Atlanta, and I just kind of, it's like, okay, what type of comics from Atlanta are getting on Comedy Central? That was my dream, to get on Comedy Central. Still ain't obtained that yet, but that was like, that's the original, you know how every comic, you got something that's like your thing. Yeah, yeah. Comedy, and, and Comedy Central was one of those things. So I was like, and then I would talk to Dirty South all the time. She would just say, like, yo, you good with white people? She's like, just do it. So, I don't know. So I do Comedy Festival. That's some shit you should okay. get into, too. Okay. It could it get, but make sure you ready for a festival. You know what I mean? Yeah. You go there. I went to Memphis Festival the first time I went. I don't think I was ready. I didn't understand what I was getting into. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like a networking event. It's, it's nothing to do with the jokes. You need to be everywhere. Okay. You know what I mean? Because okay. you're networking with people and you're trying to like book shows so that you can put your own tour together. So that I can go on what they call a run and I can do three, four shows if I'm going to Louisiana anyway I'm, while I'm riding down there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you can put it together like that. So you can hustle it and move yourself out there. But mm -hmm. that's why you can't focus. That's why you can't be like, on, like why would they do festivals? They get together, they gather up. Black comedians, we don't do that shit, man. Like, we hope it's somebody take us there. If you, nobody ever takes you there, you're gonna be fucking stuck. Yeah. yeah. So, you know what I mean? I try to fucking, I do comedy festivals. And I'll apply to some shitty ones and I'll apply to some good ones. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've been getting in a couple and I've been to Laugh Factory, did it there. Shout out my nigga Plug, he took me with him. Plug Chapman, always. Shout out to Plug. That's the big homie, you know what I'm saying? I been, went, went to New York, stand up there, did open mics. I just, I don't, I don't know, man. It's, Tell the jokes. Yeah. I stay in the city. I like Atlanta. I don't really like being nowhere else for real, for real. That sound <laughs> crazy to people. It's like, I don't know. Every time I, even like, I've been other, I go, me and my wife, my wife loves to travel. I ain't never went nowhere without her, for real, for real. But 
Every time we go somewhere, I'm like, they're white folks. They're gonna, yeah. they gonna get you out of. They're gonna break you out of that. Say what? I said what wives do. They're gonna break you out of that. Hey, they're gonna show you some your, shit. Your nigga habits. Yeah, yeah. they're gonna show you some shit. Your real nigga habits. Yeah, they, yeah. They show you where you lacking at. It's like, all right. Man. She make me. She make you put your um soldieries up. Yeah, like, yeah. I ain't sure. Yeah, I ain't sure. Get the crust out your eye. Work. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. Yeah. Oh, like a man. What Chris Ross said, Chris Ross said, put a tic tac in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clean you up, wipe you down. But nah, it's, uh, it's like, I don't know, I just love living in Atlanta. I don't, I don't like going home. Okay, so. I'm like mean, super homebody. Yeah, you're a homebody. I'm a homebody. I'll fuck around and just be like, be good. Okay. Chilling here. I mean, I don't give a shit. I'm not chasing it that hard. I'm going to do my thing here. I'm going to drop that mixtape that we was talking about out there. Mm-hmm. Definitely gonna drop that. Shout out to mixtape. Yeah, yeah. Tell people about the mixtape. I tell a little bit about the mixtape. I'm working on that right now. That's what I'm really working on. That's my baby, if you want to know. Um, it's gonna be a mixtape, comedy mixtape. Like, I don't know if anybody, you know what I'm saying, you've ever seen a comedy mixtape, but I'm a hustler like that. I wanted to sound like kind of like a radio show mm-hmm. when you're listening to it, like that I'm hosting and then have like people call up and request jokes and we're gonna do some funny infomercials and stuff like that on it and I might do some rapping. You never know what's gonna happen. Hey, man. It's like okay. I want you to be like how you would be riding down the street listening to V103 or 979 or whatever radio station you listen to. Radio station, but instead of songs, we request jokes. You know what I mean? And the first one is just gonna be my shit. Hopefully in the future, I'm thinking more in the future, I can do like, you know what I'm saying, mix it in with my partners and shit, with the people mm-hmm. that's on the tape mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And we can like, oh man, let me hear that joke from, let me hear that joke from Ty today, Southside Ty today, let me, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's kind of like where the move would be later, but right now, I feel that. the first one's just gonna be my shit, cause it's my shit and I'm gonna host it. Um, I had thought of the name, I like Chick-fil-A on Sundays, but my wife don't like that. <laughs> my wife do not like Chick-fil-A on Sundays. But I'm gonna hustle it like it's a mixtape, my nigga. Like in the Chevron and the shit. I'm gonna just tell them it's a mixtape. And like, and I'm not gonna tell nobody it ain't about rap. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna just, <laughs> so when they put it on, it's gonna sound like a motherfucking album about to come on. If you download, it's gonna sound like an album about to start, but it's gonna turn and it's gonna be layered. That's fine. I know, I've been working on it for like That's fine. six. That's how I saw you been on for a while. I know, I've been working on it for a hot second. So I'm super excited. We, Getting closer. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. The dream is to have it out by February. Okay. That'd be a dream, but okay. uh, you know, not legal shit there. Yeah. Definitely. I got some bullshit on there that like people <sighs> gotta get cleared. Hopefully, so I can get it on some shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I can just put it out, and but I won't be able to put it on platforms and stuff like that because it'll have. So you want to put it where it got yeah, where it can be heard. I want stuff. you to hear yeah. like it yeah. needs to be heard. I don't want it to be skippy and like yeah. I just, I, yeah, I'm never about anybody to undercut that. So you feel like you know what I'm saying? You can make it what you want. Yeah, yeah. and it's gonna be. I mean, the mix ain't gonna be free. I mean, the the thing is, it's gonna be free though. You got it. But as long as the quality there, the quality. As long yeah. as you get your point across, I tell people yeah. get your point across. You know yeah, yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. That's 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 what I always and it, it, right. and each joke ain't gonna be like from the same set. It ain't like I'm gonna shoot a special or anything like that. Okay. It's gonna be literally probably from my phone. So sets that's like when they request a joke, it's gonna cut to a spot that where it's from. Like the time I had this joke, I did the joke that they heard it. You know what I mean? Okay. Remember that time when was that such and such such that you told that joke about? Oh, it's like why you wanna hear that one? Boom. You know what I mean? Something like that. Not that exact. Turn it off. But boom, then you play it. Different spots. It's an it's gonna be an interesting concept. Well, um, not too many crazy like festival story, like your favorite festival story. Oh, uh, Red Clay. I got to open for Rory Scovel this year. That shit was dope. We did it at um the Earl. Man, that set was dope. Oh, as shit. It's um on East Atlanta Village. It's this grungy oh, okay, looking okay, bar. Okay, okay, but okay. back there they got like a sound stage for like bands and stuff like that. And Roy Scoble was headlining. He was doing his he freestyles an hour thing. He's like he does it like annually there. And the show was packed. Man, that shit was fine. I don't know. I opened for Tony Rock once. That was a good one. He's probably been my favorite. He made me go outside and talk to people, which was very nice. But <laughs> that's like <laughs> The worst part of being a comedian. Because <laughs> it's weird, right? Because you've been talking on stage and everybody's like, yeah, you up there? You were good. You're like, yeah, there ain't something Thank weird you. about the interaction. Because you don't you. know what to say. Yeah. You're like, oh. I start a whole other conversation. 
I started talking about some shit that ain't got nothing to do with comedy. I hate talking about the show after the show. Because I'm like, I need to, I don't want to talk about it with them. I don't want to just hear y'all say it's good, y'all. Artists like that. Yeah, yeah I rather just, uh, I rather not yeah. talk about it. Let's move on. I rather just I did like, it. yeah, that's, it's that's, over. That's, yeah, I'm one of them type. I did it. It's over. Let's I talk about something that. else. Yeah, I I don't like looking at like once I film it, it's, it's over. Done. It's over. And then we you do about it. You know what I mean? Thank you. I know people saying just saying good job. Yeah, that's the one thing we gotta learn. People just saying good job, and yeah. you gotta just take your praise, like you yeah. said, yeah. take your roses while you you hit. But anybody trying to hear that shit? Man, I'm trying. Get to the next show. I'm mad about a joke I missed. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm mad about something. I, I, cause you just, you never feel like it said it's perfect. You know yeah, that? yeah, you always on Twitter. You had that feeling when you're a creator. Yeah, you yeah, it was like, right, man. And I listen. You, re, I mean, you gotta record your jokes. That's a tip. Record all your fucking material on your phone, nigga. When you get to the stage, hit fucking boop, and you should record that shit every time. No excuses not to. You should have it. The audio. Cause the words, listening back to it, hearing yourself saying that shit helps too, like a lot, like a lot, a lot. That shit, doing that and being a Nazi about it. Every year I try to pick something and be like, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, you know what I mean? And just like make that into my regimen. That was the best thing I've ever before I could put into my regimen. And you have to listen to it. Like, you know what I mean? Because you can record that shit all day, but you have to listen to yeah. it. It's like, if you want somebody else to sit and listen to it, you need to sit and listen to it. It don't make no sense. That's for you probably the best it. advice you can give a comedian. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah. no sense. You want, you want everybody to sit and listen to you, but you won't even listen to yourself? That's stupid. How you gonna know what you sound like if you ain't never heard yourself talk? <laughs> It, make, it just makes too much sense. You got a phone. You can do everything else on this phone all day. We do a thousand things in this motherfucking phone. Yeah. It's a whole recorder on this phone. Yeah. And like, yeah. as soon as you open it up, you can hit record and it'll record the fuck out of anything you want. To. Yeah. And what niggas will not do that. I feel that. That's so right. Yeah, I came being broken so hard. This support in the cup is out of these moves. Let me hit schools. Time for me to get up. Get bust. I ain't got time to be stuck. You've been escaping the budget so many tickets up. It's been an honor, the blessing. I don't believe in luck. I'm ready for my son, yeah. And I dare you to get in my way. Cause I'm ready for my son, yeah. You better get So you got clap. So you got clap. I'm on now. I'm on now. I'm on now. Say, so you got clap.